Now, Asun Kushia in the central region is famed for its cleanliness as one hardly finds an iota of filth anywhere in the community. As part of our sanitation campaign dubbed Garbage Out, Solomon Mensa sets out to find out how the chiefs and people of Asin Kushia have been able to achieve this feat. It is a community in the central region that boldly throws a challenge to any other town or city in the country for a contest in terms of cleanliness. One upon entering Asin Kushia is greeted by a signpost affirming the community's cleanliness. On the shoulders of the road leading to the town proper are crocodile and fish ponds, and there would be ultra modern palace when completed. These serve as a source of attraction to tourists and visitors. Barrels painted in the colors of the national flag as well are down the shoulders of the road here, serving as dustbins. This is the Asin Kushia community where the residents say they basically respect their leader that's their chief, and so this has been their practice. They don't litter. Wednesdays are earmarked as a community labor day at Asin Kushia, where there is no any other activity until after cleaning the township. Abnadrua Mensa hails from Asin Kushia and is the member of parliament for Asin North. She says Kushia's cleanliness has not been a day's job. Started way back. Every Wednesday, there's the Omai Ijuma or community community work that the whole community come together to do to clean up the Orenchi Kingdom. Abinadrua Mensa says the chief of the Orenchi Kingdom of Asen Kushia, Ahunabobrim Nana Prajin Sem the Sith, himself partakes in the community labor, throwing a challenge to Ghanaian leaders to emulate. Nana Prajin Sem has never been left out of this exercise. Any Wednesday that he's in Accra, he and his chiefs, the elders, the youth, everybody, he's even the first person to come down from his house on Wednesdays when he's, he's in Orinchi mine. People will usually be seen within their school compounds whenever they grow bushy. Ahunabwebrim Nana Prajin Sem the Sith says what he together with his residents have been able to achieve it's not above any other person. Trust me, it is not uh, beyond anybody to be able to achieve this. You only need to let the people know the importance of keeping your environment clean and you yourself living up to it. He says Ghana could achieve its desired cleanliness if the needed facilities like the provision of dustbins and toilets are in place. You know, sanitation is simply creating a system to make a place hygienic and neat. So you need to create a system. The creation of system involves providing facility whereby people will use. Residents are full of praise for their chief. Our chief yearns for cleanliness. He encourages us to participate in communal labor. We respect and obey him. The chief has made the town a tourist attraction center. There are many towns and cities in the country but none could be compared to a Sin Kushia. Checks at the Kushia Health Center revealed for over eight years now, it had not recorded any cholera case by residents. For even malaria cases, it is mostly reported by communities that surround Kushia. James Muzuli is physician assistant and officer in charge at the Kushia Health Center. The town is indeed very clean and I think that it is really helping in terms of maybe reduction of cholera cases. Since I came here 2011, we've never had a cholera case in this community and so maybe we can attribute that to the sanitation. At the coronation of the Queen of Kushia, the Ministry of Sanitation and Water Resources bestowed on Ahunabubrim Nana Prajan Sem the Sith, the accolade of a sanitation ambassador. The Sanitation and Water Resources Minister, Cecilia Dapa, urged all to emulate residents of Kushia to promote cleanliness. 
It has been a beautiful experience at Kushia here in the central region. And as the signpost behind me says, we hope you never forget us. Indeed, we can't forget about Kushia. This has been Solomon Mensah for TV3, Kushia Central Region.